Hey guys, I'm Tevel from Archeo Project and this is guide about making scoreboard. This is from previous guide and everything what I have to do right now is just creating blueprint structure and it will be just player uh, score and it will be one record. So I just get name. Another one will be just integer uh, score and one more just time type date uh, date time okay so this is everything what i need this structure and i can use this inside my blueprint and save game object so i create save game object and will be just score save and inside create a variable uh, player scores and of course will be just player score array yeah so I will be saving this to my file, yeah, using this score save. Okay, so I go to my player controller and I want to make some improvements. So I just uh, use key Q. When it's released, it, it will be exactly the same like this end condition and uh, do this only once. So maybe right here to not get any warnings. Okay, so it will be fine. So right now I need to uh, load uh, save game uh, load save uh, game from slot and I can use the same name so score save ok and I can cast to save game if it's uh, cast failed it means uh, uh, we don't have this object yet we can use uh, save game uh, does save game exists but it will be exactly the same so I just use this cast uh, failed and we'll use sequence okay so when it's true uh, so when we have save game file I just need to get uh, cast okay so get my player scores and for every element I will just add this course one after another because we have a descending order uh, with just these points, yeah? Okay, so I need to add uh, my... So I just promote to variable and need array of this. Okay, uh, and with be temporary array, yeah? So I just get this and add my object. So it's just copy mm, this array. But I use uh, maybe sequence once again. So it will be second step. First one will be just checking if we have a new score uh, higher than previous one. Yeah. So I just break this one and check if the score is lower or equal these points. Yeah. So then I can just uh, add new element. So another add and I just do this only once. Okay. And linking this and I need to create new object which will be just a player score. Okay. So name will be just me uh, points this one and time. So we can just get uh, date time and it's uh, get date mm, this one okay so we can just linking this and using this of course if its uh, score is higher yeah and second step is just copy this uh, array so I can just use this and save this to my file but but I need to create one that's why uh, when it's completed I just create um, a game object and it will be just score save and of course uh, save to slot and using the same slot but one more thing I need to set this uh, cast to score save and save uh, set my variable yeah so just this player score Okay. 
and I just get this temporary uh, array and setting this and saving to uh, slot. So one thing is missing. Uh, I need to create widget right here. And when it's uh, failed, which means uh, it's first element, I just need to add this element. So it will be just this one. Just do once, create this element, and second, just go right here, yeah? So we are sa uh, saving this object, and it should be fine. Okay, so everything works, and I need to create widget. What we need to create this object right here. So user interface and widget, which will be just line. And inside we just need a uh, text, uh, maybe just a uh, horizontal box. Uh, yeah, but instead of canvas panel, uh, sorry. So horizontal box. Okay, and inside we need some text as from left to the right. So first one will be just a number, so place. Second one will be just a nickname. Okay, maybe fill. And third one uh, will be just a score on the right side. So it will be just maybe some number, 99999, nine, 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 nine. okay. <laughs> so we have everything and we can add this line uh, all over again. It will be just one record from our score, yeah. But I need to uh, create another widget, which is just a scoreboard. And inside uh, we need to add our canvas. Okay, so we just set uh, anchor to the middle, changing position to the middle, uh, of course X and Y to the middle, and maybe size 600 by 600, should be okay. So inside we just set text, uh, which will be just scoreboard, okay, can be like that, and to the middle, but I need to change uh, anchor as well. So maybe just, yeah, but uh, from left and right, so will be just position uh, offset left and offset right. Okay, so it's fine. And one more thing, I need my uh, vertical box. And like before, I need to, uh, maybe this time offset left 50, offset right 50. And make this bigger okay and I can use this vertical box and add my lines elements uh, and records yeah okay so this is everything uh, what I need but I uh, need to set this uh, values yeah so I go once again to my line and go to my graph and construction script uh, I will be using uh, two variables First one will be just index, uh, integer, okay, and second one will be just uh, my uh, variable which is just score, uh, player score, yeah, okay, and maybe name player score. So I will be using this one and I can break this and I can set my all uh, texts. But I need to make this as variable, yeah, this one, this one and this third one. Okay, so right now I just need to set this. So first block is just a number, so maybe this index, uh, build string and uh, would be nice if it get uh, dot and space. Okay, and set text. Of course, linking this. Okay, so this is first element. So second one will be just a nickname. So just this name, set text. Okay, so this is simple like that. And third one will be just uh, this text block. Okay, and set text my score, yeah. Um, so another one build string. 
Okay, and this number will be fine. Or maybe just linking this straight should be okay. Okay, so we have our score, we have our uh, nickname, and we have our uh, number, yeah, place. Okay, and uh, we can use this line uh, inside our uh, scoreboard. So when it's constructed, I just need uh, one uh, array of uh, variable, so we'll be just player scores and it's array. Uh, but I need to make a line and uh, this two just visible and uh, expose on spawn and the same for second one because I need to construct this yeah so go back and my player scores will be just a player score and for each player score of course I need to uh, add widget uh, create new widget uh, and it will be just line and I have this uh, right here so my index will be just increased by one because uh, I want to be placed from one and this array element will be just player score and I wi uh, will add this to my uh, vertical box so I just make this variable get my vertical box and add child so this is simple like that and just linking this okay compile save so this is everything from here and one more thing I just need to go my uh, player controller and finally create my widget which will be just player uh, scoreboard yeah and add to viewport Okay, so we are showing our scoreboard uh, and we just missed uh, missing one thing because we need scoreboard uh, B, this player scores as well exposed on spawn, yeah? So we can just uh, put this right here and uh, construct. So right now this player score can be this one or this one, maybe this temporary one we just created, yeah? So we just pass this argument and this uh, array and create this and add to viewport. Okay, so finally we can check this out. Okay, so I'm just collecting my uh, elements. My score is increasing. So when I just wait, it's just okay. So let's uh, once again just press Q. Okay, so we have some scores. Uh, so maybe I can remove this file and check this out once again. So should should be only one uh, record, yeah? Okay, I have 10. So let's check this out once again. Play this out. Collecting one, collecting two, collecting third one, and maybe just end this. Okay, and it's 25. And I'm on the top right now. So maybe once again. So maybe just five. To be on the bottom let's check this out okay i'm not adding so it means i need to do something with this okay uh, so basically i just go back so if it's a lower value mm, i just need to add this uh, in the way yeah so, uh, if it's completed, I just need to uh, do once, yeah? So, another sequence. <laughs> okay. So, just do this once if it wasn't... Uh, okay, and linking this. And it should be fine. Okay. Let's check this out. So, when I just uh, take nothing and just... Uh, and this I on the bottom yeah so once again I'm on the bottom okay so it works so maybe when I collected all of them we can uh, check this out and it should be should be fine let's check this out okay and it's 35 so everything works like it should 
Okay, so this is really a long tutorial for now. But I hope you like this. Yeah, and uh, the scoreboard works like uh, it's uh, intended. <laughs> so everything is fine. And I hope you like this part. And if you do, please subscribe and please like this uh, movie. And of course, see you next time.